Matthew, my final question for you is, do you have any three specific tips for job seekers in order to elevate their jobs, so especially nowadays in 2021? Yeah. Well, my, my answer is probably going to be different than most. Um, and I'm, I'm going to touch on some things that, you know, we spoke about previously. Uh, I think, number one, that you've got to give yourself the space for clarity and allow yourself a break. You know, don't resign to the defensive posture when, when you're in lack or you feel desperate by, you know, the emotions that come along with a job loss or, or being in that space where you're unemployed. Um, you know, give yourself the opportunity to search with a clear head and a clear heart. I think that is extraordinarily important. And I think that you have to ground yourself in that space if you're going to find the right opportunity for you. Um, number two, I would say, you know, you want to identify and define your strengths and your value and be specific about what it is that you truly want, you know, um, and I think if you don't do step number one, you really can't get into step number two. You've got to give yourself the opportunity for clarity before you can start defining what you want. But along with that, also understand what your strengths are. You know, what do you bring to the table and what type of uh, opportunity is going to allow you to utilize those strength, strengths in the greatest capacity to serve, um, you know, a greater community of individuals. Um, number three, I would say build a strategic plan. And I would say, you know, we can get lost in like that overwhelm of the job search and we can start applying just to everything, right? It's like, well, if it's out there, you know, I'll, I'll throw my hat in the ring. And it, at times that's, it's not bad to throw your hat in the ring every once in a while for kind of like that long shot type of opportunity. You never know if like there's something in your resume that's going to catch an individual's eye, or maybe that piece of content that you did is going to catch somebody's eye. That's okay. But I would say don't, and we, I worked in the direct marketing space. So we would say don't spray and pray, right? So, um, you know, go after opportunities that you believe are going to fulfill you in the long term. Um, you can really burn yourself out in this job seeking process if you're just trying to spend eight or 10 hours a day sitting in front of a screen filling out countless applications. And I know some individuals in my network who have done that, who have applied to hundreds of jobs and, you know, have received very little feedback in return. And I feel bad for them because I can see the toll that it's taking on their mental health and their physical health. So, I mean, I think it's about quality over quantity. I mean, that's kind of cliche, but I, I believe that that is um, a legitimate thing that we need to look at. And then also, you know, be okay with saying no. Um, you know, if the opportunity comes up and you're in that place of desperation, a lot of times you can kind of talk yourself into saying, well, you know, it's okay if I have to sacrifice this, that, or the other thing, because, you know, I, I really need a paycheck or whatever it may be. There are certain situations where, yes, you need a paycheck. You need to put, you know, money in the bank so that you can pay your mortgage or put food on the table. But if you've got the flexibility and you don't think it's the, the right fit, be okay with saying no and waiting for the right door to open because it will eventually. You just have to allow space for it. It's important to have clarity and maybe create a list of 10 companies that you want to, to, to yeah. hire, follow them, interact with them. And a lot of time I hear that some people are getting offered job because of their interaction or because they were putting a lot of content or appreciating what's out there and the recruiters reach out to them and offer them a job. So you will never know what it is unless you know who you are and what you can bring to the table and saying no, sometimes it's a good, good, good strategy. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I think right now it's, it's tough because you've got a lot of employers who are sort of, um, at times I think they're testing the waters when they, when they post jobs too. I don't know how sincere all of them are about hiring right away. It's kind of, let's see if we can get the right candidate or the perfect candidate, and then we'll make a decision if we're going to actually keep that position open and bring somebody in. Um, and, you know, I think, a lot of people are applying for those types of opportunities and then they're, they get discouraged when they don't receive feedback, you know, when they haven't heard anything for a while. And I would just say like, you know, don't allow that to get you down. Um, and, and probably, you know, just 
be strategic in, in selecting the right ones and, and don't go after a hundred of those because, um, you know, you could, you could be sitting there and, and feeling like overwhelmed by the amount of rejection that you faced. And it's not necessarily real rejection. It's not necessarily a reflection on you. There's a lot of people that are just kind of feeling out the economy and the things that are happening in the government and when this whole pandemic is going to back off. They may not even be filling those positions right now. So don't be so hard on yourself and be really specific about, you know, your focus and, and where you want to devote your time and energy in your career moving forward. And those are great tips, Matthew. Thank you very much. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation with you. And for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips for job seeker, please leave comments below. Like and share the video, reach to us. We are here to help you. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Matthew, thank you very much. Hope we can meet one day when this is over. Bye, everyone. Thanks a lot, guys.